Things nobody told you about owning a pug. A tiny dog with a history older than some of the most ancient relics of the world, with contributions to many modern breeds of the 21st century, is the all-famous pug. Hi, it's my pleasure to have you here today. My name is Dr. Alex, and I'm here to tell you all about the nature, the history, the grooming, and all the other things you need to know about this adorable breed. So get ready. If you're considering owning a pug someday, ensure you go through every moment of this video without skipping through. There are some things about owning a pug that are very important to know. So let's start with this royal dog's temperament. The pug is a dog breed that likes to play and is fairly energetic for its little size. This leads to them being highly entertaining pocket rockets. Their cute face and charm topped with a smart head and affection towards their owner means they're always the center of attention in the household. They're always up for fun and they make very good family dogs. Because of their highly social nature, pugs don't like to be left alone for long periods of time. So if you're away at work all day, every day, they might not be the right choice of breed for you. Pugs are known to be a little on the stubborn side. So patient and regular training is a must for these little dogs with lots of positive reward. Fortunately, training a pug isn't too hard as they are clever and they're able to commit what they learn to memory, meaning they don't need to be shown something over and over before they pick it up. And you can start training a pug from a young age. Because of their strong-willed nature, the training needs to be consistent and firm, but fair, patient and positive. Make sure that everyone in the family is doing the same thing when it comes to training the pug so they don't get confused or develop bad habits. Have the right mindset, be kind, use lots of positive reinforcement and the connection between you and your pug will be unmatched. Another great idea is to take your young pug to puppy preschool and socialize them with other dogs. This gives them the best possible start in life. Now let's talk about what you should feed your pug. Adult pugs require one cup of dry food a day. This is usually split between two meals. However, different types of food have different nutritional ingredients. So always check the packet for guidelines on how much to feed. And if you're unsure, consult your veterinarian for advice. Pugs are prone to becoming overweight, which can really impact on their breathing. So it's a good idea to weigh them regularly and keep treats to only when you're in training. If you've heard somewhere that pugs were the first pure breed dogs to ever be brought to Australia, well, that is actually true. Even more surprising is that pugs have been lap dogs for royalty from as far back as 400 BC. They were once regarded as prized possessions by Chinese and Japanese emperors who often gifted them to each other as a valuable token of friendship and thankfulness. The pug was imported to Europe in the 1600s and was so highly valued that they would specifically build castles for the pugs to live in, with servants and caretakers included. All in all, they are very special little dogs, but they do come with their fair share of health issues, which is what we're gonna talk about next. The pugs, like French Bulldogs, Shih Tzus and Boxers, are brachycephalic dogs. This means that their noses are squashed in, which makes them prone to suffering health problems, including breathing difficulties, skin problems, and eye problems. Unlike humans who sweat to cool down, dogs rely on panting to keep their body temperature under control on a hot day. Brachycephalic dogs are not able to pant and cool down as well as other dogs. So extreme care is required when it comes to exercising your pug or taking them outside on a hot day. Because their eyes bulge out more than other dogs, they're also vulnerable to damage such as dry eye and ulcers on the surface of the eye, as well as eyelid problems. The skin folds around their face can harbor bacteria to cause its skin infections. So it's important to regularly clean and dry these facial skin folds. Other conditions, including luxating patellas, where the kneecaps can move in and out of place due to shallow grooves of the knee joint, and also seizures, which can be genetic in origin. Because of the impact these health issues can have on a pug's quality of life, responsible breeders will be able to tell you whether the parents of the dog you're looking at has had the relevant health screening 
to reduce the chance of these issues causing a problem for your dog and heartache for you. A short walk or little bursts of high energy games can do wonders for your dog. Just make sure it's all done in the shade or in the cooler part of the day. Because these dogs are happy just being lap dogs, you may need to encourage them to get up and exercise, which is important to keep them healthy and at a healthy weight. Now let's talk about grooming, which fortunately for pugs is pretty low maintenance compared to other breeds. Pugs don't get dirty very often, but they do shed hair. So they need regular brushing with a soft bristle brush. Monthly bathing is usually sufficient and use this time to check your pug all over, including their ears, any lumps and bumps, and their eyes to make sure they're bright and clean. Monthly nail trimming is a good idea and brushing their teeth is also recommended. If your pug has lots of skin folds around the face, it's a good idea to clean them out and dry the area thoroughly on a daily basis to prevent infections and sores in that area. Now let's talk about a significant step in the owning of a pug, and that is the choice of breeder. A good breeder is the difference between a fulfilling, lifelong experience and what can be a disaster if you don't do your homework properly. Like Responsible Pet Breeders Australia, breeders who are legitimate will be able to provide you with the complete background of your dog, as well as that of its parents. Did you know that a pug can be apricot, fawn, silver fawn, or black in color? They weigh no more than nine kilos with their height just around 30 centimeters and pugs can live up to 12 to even 15 years old. Now, if you're still undecided on whether this is the right breed for you, have a look around and you'll find plenty of other videos we've made on different dog breeds so you have all the information you need. That's all for now, so stay safe and along with your new dog, have the time of your life. If you're still deciding whether a dog is right for you, remember that responsible pet ownership means committing to providing a lifetime of love and care for your pet.